Hey guys, so these are readings that I let the cards do the picking on who the readings are for. Virgo. For some reason, man, I already knew it was going to come out, Virgo. Let's find out who you really are, Virgo. You're a seer. Like a shaman. I'm picking up for you. Your words have power, Virgo. In case you need confirmation on that. Your words do have power. And you can bring in what you need. Feeling. You can make others feel what you feel. Your energy inspires energy. Just be careful with what you invoke or inspire in others because it will come back to you. Heartbreaker, you easily inspire romantic feelings in others because of your kind and sweet approach making you a heartbreaker. Two sides. You have two extreme sides to you, but yet with such grace and po po poise, this ability gives you an advantage by keeping them in wonder. Tease. You can suck people in without them even knowing. You showcase your sexuality, but only few get a chance to play with you, making you a master in teasing. Give me one more. Give me two more. Nurture. A life-changing gift is the influence of a nurturing woman that provides love, support, protection, and encouragement to teach others to grow and develop. Sophisticated. You have a higher understanding of sex and sexuality. It's authentic and empowering, often having a shocking effort on people and Provoking insecurity and in others. Something's telling me to take one more card. There it is. Unassuming. You are outwardly soft and gentle. You are outwardly soft and gentle. Your power is in silence. You are non-reactive and and creature stillness. What? They spelt creature wrong. Or create wrong. Let me start this over. Unassuming. You're outwardly soft and gentle. Your power is in silence. You are a non-reactive. And create stillness. Making you stand out in a crowd. They didn't spell it wrong. My dumbass thought that's what it said. That's why I need glasses. Alright, let's see what's going on with you, Virgo. Wow.
you felt stuck for a long time in the same cycle. Yeah, you really felt stuck for a long time. And you felt like you, you really don't have nowhere to turn. You're coming out of that, though, is what I'm getting for you. Like, the more you go in and do the inner work on yourself, the more you're coming out of that and coming out of believing that you can't change your circumstances because you can. Yeah, your heart is what's leading you towards this change is what I'm getting for you. And uh, your spiritual awakening was brought on by heartbreak is what I'm picking up for you also. You also uh, have took a lot of action towards things you want to create and what you are going to be bringing in your life. If you keep working towards this you are going to be the success you want to be and stop having these doubts man you keep having these doubts about yourself stop that yeah see you need to come out of having these negative thought patterns these negative thinking uh that you can't do it or you don't have the ability to change things that you can change it's your own thoughts that create your reality you shift up your thoughts and your reality will change yeah because you've been of two mindsets for a while now and you've got to come out of that negativeness is what i'm getting for you Man, you've sat in negativeness for a long time. And it's taken you a long time to see that it is your own mind. Yeah, you're come see, and the spirit is moving you out of those negative thought patterns and those conflicts within yourself. You've had a lot of inner conflict going on within you, like a really big battle going on within you is what i'm getting and you're finally coming out of that and you're going to start manifesting what you truly want to bring in and what you truly the reality you truly want to happen is what i'm getting for you because you've done a lot of inner work on yourself and with you doing this inner work it's bringing you towards what you want to bring in but you have to come out of that negativeness you have to come out of that you can't mentality you have to stay in that you can mentality because the more you shift out of that and the more you start changing your thought process and the more you start changing, knowing that you can, you can. All right, what chakras? Fourth chakra, heart chakra, generosity. Generosity is sharing. I give myself freely and I am open to opportunities to do so. I do this because I can and I expect nothing in return. Speaking from the heart will let those around me know how I feel about them. My generosity will touch another person's heart and replenish their spirit. Through love, I have a positive, spontaneous, and lasting influence on the healing and transformation of both myself and others. Play. Self-care includes having fun. Are you playing enough, darling? Do you have enough free time or are you booked to the minute? Life goes by so darn fast. Make sure you have a blast along the way. Play connects us to our childlike curiosity and zest. When life feels too serious, toss aside your to-do list and make room for the stuff that turns you on. 
go to the movies, have an adult slumber party, swing at the playground. You're never too old to we let the fun shine in and live a little or a lot. All right. There you go, Virgo. I hope that helps.